Hello, good afternoon, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Daily Live Extra. Uh, apologies, it should have had one fifteen on the thumbnail. It didn't, but we're here now. Too late, mate. <laughs> we're here now. Uh, Everton won a game at the weekend. Oh, feels good. The first time in four months, walked out of a game and gone. Do you realise that that's the first time you've seen Everton win since probably about October in the league? Burnley away. Were you that bit? Is that the last one you were at? I go to all of them, so... No, yeah. no, but you were, what I mean is you yeah, were in America, weren't you, when we were flying? Was it Burnley away? I think so, yeah. yeah. It's just a when when you come out that, gra- that ground that night... Did you, you know, think imagine you're not going to win for another you're three not months? Gonna see it. You're not going to win again until you play them again in April. What the days of that game? For, uh, 16th of December. 16th, yeah. yeah. I was back for that. I think oh, I, you were back for I, that I, game. Conversely, yeah. I think I actually came back for it, didn't I? You lunatic. You know, I timed the, the return so that I'd be able to go to that game. Who, Which is your point, really. We win, and yeah. you go, hurrah. Oh, you're going, yeah. Imagine, and then the next you're not going to win again until we play them at home. Yeah. The, the actual... Obviously, the win was massive for us, wasn't it? Uh, at yeah, the weekend, yeah. game was crap, though, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, the game was crap. But we got the win, the ugly win, as the manager yeah. said. It was by design. The game was designed to be mm. that ugly and that boring as it I, was. I, I, but that nonplussed me when he said that. No, nah, well, that, listen, that is what it is. He won yeah. the game, but yeah. it was obviously we're waiting this second PSR charge. There's a there's a lot of noise to quote Sean, um, <laughs> that it could be today, the announcement will be today at some stage, we'll see, we'll see about that, yeah. but um, we're expecting a to, point deduction to lose, a, a, not eight, a, yeah I'm <laughs> going to say eight, what, <laughs> suddenly realised it sounded like I'm eight. expecting it to be two, I've been quite consistent with that one, yeah, um, therefore it made that Burnley win even bigger really, <sighs> didn't it, well, uh, the, the other results, and obviously Luton, yeah, yeah, the other results made made it a bit mm. iffy as well, didn't it? So um, it would have been a bit naff, wouldn't it, if we'd failed to win? We, I mean, it was we were what there was four extra minutes at Luton, was it? We were almost at a perfect results weekend, though. Mm. They would have not won the game. They'd have given us even more of a breed, mm. you know, the breeding space. But yeah. obviously, so, they're not going anywhere at the minute, are they? They're fighting for everything and got themselves a victory, but. Mm. What are you expecting today then from this, this, or what are you expecting when the announcement's made? What, what's your, where, where are you with it? I didn't see the Burnley game come home on the Sunday. Yeah, no, I thought you. Had, I knew you had. I just so, didn't want to doubt you. Yeah, well, I can't remember. So, when the bloody hell did we win before then? Then. <laughs> no, no, he was in Florida for that Bournemouth, probably. Bournemouth in October. Wow, so you were right, yeah. Mm, long time, but uh, um, oh no, Crystal Palace, you were at. We won't be Palace. Palace in November. Yeah. Okay. Um, Birthday present, probably. But for me, looking at it now, these points were you looking at going, right, there's obviously extra points coming, or are you thinking, it, there's, let me ask you this way, do you think it'll definitely be points deducted, or is there any way it can be suspended, in your in your opinion? Of course it can. Right. Every eventuality is possible, isn't it? Everett might not get any, but I mm. don't see it like that. But well, where are you at with it? Um, well, the Nottingham Forest judge um, considered, didn't he, um, suspension. Mm. In other words, he, he introduced the idea that, well, yeah, suspended points deduction is is okay. Mm. And our hanging judge, David Phillips, said, absolutely not. It's got to be an immediate points deduction. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. Mm. Well, is that an evo- you know, a, a developing or an evolving of how the, the how, rules how work? Yeah. Or is it quite literally, you know, Michael Oliver doesn't give penalties and some other ref does for something less, you know, less damaging or less of a foul or whatever. And I think, I don't know, I, I suppose if you made me decide, I think it's more the latter than the former. It's just that, yet they, they all look at what others have said and done, but they're not sort of developing them as they go. I thought our appeal judge did okay because he introduced the idea, didn't he, that there's a starting point mm. for the deduction, which is three points simply for breaching. Mm. And he didn't write it, but what he's what he's effectively saying is breach by a penny, and you get a three point deduction. <laughs> yeah. You then try and mitigate it by saying, but it was only a penny, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, so I think, honest to God, mate, we don't know. Yeah. We really yeah. don't know. 
Um, we've talked more than once on the channel to Sofa. I think he did, oh, oh, Ned over there did a clip or something mm -hmm. where I'm saying there's a line of sight for no points at all. Mm -hmm. Forget whether they're suspended or not. But they've not got anything in their rule book that says, hey, and this is the lack of guidelines from the Premier League's fault. Because whatever your points deduction is, doesn't matter what the number is, right? You know, which they yeah. conclude. Yeah, yeah. And then if they take off more in mitigation than yeah. the punishment was, then you don't get any, do you? No, no. <laughs> right? No. And there's nothing in the rules, apparently, you know, because there's no guidelines at all, that stops that. So it's all down onto the individual judge. If the individual judge says, but you have breached and you had some force with your reference to USM, you have some force in the what we'll call double jeopardy, mm. I accept all that, but you did breach and yeah. you must have a point deduction. Mm. I hope that's the worst case scenario and therefore it's one. Okay. Um, we know it starts at three. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think it's a fair assumption and... Oh, but God. could that be, sorry, John, could that be challenged that it starts at three? Because, like you just said, it appears that every IC, when they get together, does something different. But we've had three IC's. Them. We've had three of them. Yeah. Right? So you had the hanging judge, David mm. Phillips. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. You know, because Masters asked for 12. Mm. Denies it. He's a liar. Mm. Right? <laughs> according to John. Yeah. According, according to, to John. Not the channel. He to said, John. he emphatically has said, you know, as part of his witness statement, all that rubbish. Twelve, right? Okay. Um, and 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 we got ten, so we've we've dealt with that. And yeah. That was legal errors and, and all those sorts of things. Yeah. The second I see is Nottingham Forest. Yeah. And he introduces the idea that it's a bracketing thing, right? And the entry point is three points, and when you go up the other end of the bracket, it's six points. Yeah. Right, he. I think you talked about it on mm. the other day. Yeah, he doesn't know why we got six. Yeah, he says that, doesn't he? Yeah, because <laughs> he, th he actually, I think that the narrative actually says in his judgment where the other three points came from. Yeah. So let's assume it's three. Mm. So what we know minimally, it's it's three points for nineteen and for a half breaching, million. Yeah. Or, or for nineteen, or for 19 and a, a breach the size of nineteen yeah. and a half million. Can't believe you get three points for a penny, can you? Really? Um, but then you wouldn't get that far, would you? So, the, so there must mm. be a point where the Premier League decide you have to pass a certain line before they even refer you. Yeah. You know, if you if you breach by five million, would they refer you? I don't know. But Who, then where's the? It, yeah. Isn't that then like well, me, me toenails offside? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Of course so, it is. Of course it is. So yeah. so so they're doing it as a factual event. Yeah. To use Howard Webb's thing, which mm. is as soon as you get over 105, it doesn't matter what it is, you've breached. Refer to independent commission. Mm. Independent commission through through three of them have concluded a breach costs you three million. Right, and then an costs you three points. So, yeah. That, yeah. If only not three, three million, million yeah, points, yeah. but only three yeah, million, yeah. Yeah. three points, yeah. yeah. And 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 the implication clearly is that at the other end of the same bracket, allegedly that Everton are in, which I guess is a serious breach, yeah. yeah. Serious breach seems to be three to six, with us at the bottom of it, Forest at the top. So now we know that if we're in that that range, then we're in the three to six. But if our breach, as it's expected to be less than what our first one was yeah we don't know because he never told us at the forest i see where his bracket starts yeah. he says everton are in it he doesn't say where it starts so we can second guess and say i'm making it up nor to five million over is is a, a technical breach five million upwards yeah is serious and and can we have a moderate breach and then have to yeah, say yeah, yeah. but why yeah. don't they just write it down mm. you know yeah. but anyway um so of course the, the silliness then becomes that we we do three and, and and as the the judge from forest said they must have been naughty to end up with six but that was because he wanted to give some back to forest mm. okay so you end up with a farcical situation where we've got a breach as we all know say give or take half the size of forests and we end up with a bigger points deduction mm. and now we're going to have a breach which is still smaller than forests and i think mm. you've been doing some mental arithmetic that mm. says if it turns out to be something in the middle somewhere then you might be able to add both Everton's breaches together and still be less than forest or equal to or it, equal yeah. or not far mm. from it all that sort of mm. stuff and any points at all 
would mean we could end up with double the points mm. for the same size of Well, pitch. that's it. That's what I'm saying. Over I two can... different periods. Yeah. It's crazy. My crazy, one is, crazy. I think Everton's breach will maybe it's around 15 million over. Yeah, I think that's right? a fair guess. Yeah, yeah. So that goes on to our 19 and a half, puts us 34.5. Make it 15 because it makes the numbers. Right, so we'll do it like that. So, so that'll be the Forest one, 34.5. So Everton will have breached on two different In charges aggregate. on aggregate. The same as Forrest, and with the extra two points, we'll have got double the points Forrest got, which... Foss. But that, to me, is berserk. The fact that... And I hope our KC's points at those, that, um, you know... But the, 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 the fact that it's right. across two, two different seasons as well, and yeah. you're getting pulled... I mean, Citizens of Suburbia, who's quite good on Twitter, he always does good breakdown stuff, um, gives you the different way of looking at it. I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? But he done one. Uh, again this morning because obviously a lot of people are going on about. Um, I haven't seen it. You know, he's a good egg. Spoke to him well, he's just time, done. Yeah. He, what he's done is he's he's done. Um, just talking about like you know breaking it down and how he sees the stuff and. But he's uh, he's got a serious problem. This guy though, because because I've seen lots of his stuff. He right, thinks yeah. logically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what he says, yeah, that's what he says. Many arguments have already been made. So uh, any points. I would appeal. But I, I think Definitely. That Everton, we, we, we've said hmm? that for a week, haven't we? Yeah. I think Everton will do that, yeah, to I, be I fair. There's no doubt Everton will appeal anything. And he says, what he, what he can conclude was any points deduction must be appealed on the following grounds. Okay. okay. One. Now, you can tell me whether the... any. I think he's done six, right? So you okay. can tell me if any of these points you don't kind of think. Okay. Is, is there. Oh, Number one. No, I'm looking at them. Out. Everton had already had six points docked for a lower breach than Forrest, who had four. Right, so that's a fact. So that's like a consistency in the regulation. Yeah, so Everton could ask So that. I agree with that one. So yeah. number two, two of the three years in assessments have already been part of one breach, which has been punished. So people have used yeah, that double jeopardy, double jeopardy, whatever. Thing, yeah. Right, okay. Three, a club going into administration where creditors would lose money would face a six-point deduction. Everton have already had six points deducted and are not in administration. Uh, he also caveats it with, I still find it truly extraordinary that some f- in our fan base... We're advocating administration over triple seven. I, I have to say it again because I know I said it last week. Yeah, true, great. Disaster. Administration is a disaster. Oh, God. Don't yeah. listen to absolutely anybody who thinks it's a good idea because no. it isn't. Mm. It absolutely isn't. We'd yeah. be in huge trouble if There's we went no into administration. There's no circumstances where going into administration mm. is a good idea. We'd end up in League One before we knew it. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, four, Everton thought they were in compliance for much of the 22 23 season. They sold Gordon during this period. They only realised there would be a problem when their arguments around capitalisation of interest were rejected by the IC in Q3 2023. Too late to do anything about the 22-23 season. I don't, I don't really... Uh, but advocate. That, I don't understand what he's saying there. Uh, he's fundamentally saying that um, part of the reason that we breached was a change in, it, in, in how things were, were interpreted. Mm. Everton interpreted them one way... Mm. The, the IC interpreted them in a different way. Yeah. That was a business risk on Everton's part. Mm. I do think Everton, like all football clubs, have opportunities to stop spending money, mm. right? Okay. But what we did, and, uh, and that's why it's a business risk, is we continue, I'll make it emotive, we continue to spend money because we thought we were okay. Mm. Okay. And, and we weren't. Okay. Uh, five, manifestly, it's procedural timetable issue which has resulted in only Everton facing two charges for two separate PSR assessments in the same season. Nobody else will. Absolutely agree that. that so, well, there's a couple of things here, mm-hmm. and, and he's gone a bit light there. He could yeah, yeah. With a baseball bat if he wanted to, couldn't he? So he's trying to be balanced. Um, no one will get done this way ever again. No. Right? Mm. Uh, I mean, the Premier League, as, as, as they have done, and they started briefing again, haven't they? Oh, well, the replacement for PSR will have points deductions. No, it won't. Mm-hmm. Because the reason you're changing it is because those twenty clubs don't want they don't the want risk the of points, points deduction. deduction. Yeah. So you're deluded if you think that, um, Mr. Premier League, you know, and so on. Um, so I think that is a bit that's a bit more forceful, as the judge might say, number mm-hmm. five than number four. So okay, and then the first three were all really solid. They're all right. Okay, and uh, and number six at worst, a points deduction should apply next season to balance off the procedural unfairness under point five, because Forest, for example, could be in breach again next year, but their points deduction will be spread across two seasons. That's the and weakest not one. one. That's the weakest one because, of course, mm. the logic that says the points deductions should be spread put into the year. F- um, when the breach occurs, 
right? It meant we should have got the points deduction last season. I know, but... I, I know. I know we didn't. See, to me... It's because their process is... I good. actually feel like that's the strongest one. Oh, it's not the strongest. That's mine, because you can argue two of the three years, but they'll say, well, you've breached, so you've breached... Right, and, and that's where I come from. I don't like that, but that was what they'll say because it does yeah. feel like you punish you there, and we're punishing you again. And you can't do any, you can't write them wrong, so we're going to punish you. And that's like saying, I know you've done that, but I'm going to hammer you for that again in this next period. I, I think the way to attack this thing is that, and, and this is what he's tried to do, I think, is that the regulatory environment doesn't stand up to of scrutiny mm. right and, and certainly mm. that's where Nottingham Forest are going you know we're in a unique position we got promoted you know yeah but but that, you only come forward with stuff like that when you're trying to well, there you go just found a, w a way to use this mm. if the independent commissions yeah are, are attempting to do things right that's when you end up with points deductions like we, we we're getting Forest want them to do the right thing yeah we should try to be getting them to do the right thing. You know, let this thing go out with a whimper, you know, sort of thing. Um, and, of course, what he doesn't say is that, which is, I think would be uh, a mitigation, is that, um, that the loss of uh, sponsorship from USM mm. in this financial year alone exceeds our breach. Mm. Therefore, we have no control over that whatsoever. Um, the, the Which one is it where he says we couldn't change things? Number four, mm. right? Th certainly... We could not do anything, you know. It was well into um, the season before or the financial year before before we even knew there was sanctioning because it was towards the end of the fin. It was more than halfway through the financial year, mm. of course, right? Mm. Or maybe bang on halfway or something. Um, and then you're supposed to fix all that, right? Find sponsors, all so, so nah, rubbish, mm. right? So, so there's a big body of evidence here which, if used forcefully would suggest, which is why I've said it more than once, no points is the right answer. Mm. Or let's call it doing the right thing is no points. Then you get into the politics of it, mm. which is can the Premier League really deal with a club going through the um, the process when they've been banging on and getting tame journalists to say the same thing that it's all about buying footballers yeah when it clearly isn't to anyone who gives any of scrutiny to this at all yeah mm. and there's loads of legal people be them practicing barristers practicers and lawyers solicitors academics who look at the, like mike and stuff like that who look at stuff and just say this is this is a farce mm. right i mean the, if you if you had a high court equivalent these punishments for both us and forest would be seen as unstable yeah, yeah? that that you know they're risky they, they're not there's loads of reasonable doubt that neither club really in a way is you know should have been punished with a points deduction yeah and all the other things open to the ic's they haven't used any of them no 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 now we'll know when we see the judgments if the premier league have steamed in like they did against forest steamed in like they did against us and demanded a huge points deduction Masters is putting the, his own nails in his own coffin if that's what's happened. Because he ultimately is the client. Yeah. And we're looking at Leicester getting the same as well, of course. Leicester yeah. are going to get taken to the cleaners. I mean, well, their already... wage bill exceeds their income. <laughs> but they're pursuing legal action against the Premier League, though, already. So they're going aggressively. Yeah, we, we that, that, is, that is the Man City approach. Which well, we is... took it, didn't we? Where if we'd have had stronger leadership, we wouldn't have took either. Yeah. Um, just a couple of comments before we carry on. Mark Perry says, Baz, want to thank you and everyone in the comments. A couple of months ago when my girlfriend, uh, I told you my girlfriend had left me and I had bad thoughts. It's been good lately and it was a good win. It's right, Mark. Good Welcome to hear back. that you're, uh, you're feeling better, mate. Keep going. And Rita, who sent us in our Pina shirt and I need to be the, the shirts will be going back up. But she says, hi, guys. Sorry, being in hospital the last few weeks. No. Come home to see we beat Burnley. Glad we won. Glad to be home. Glad to see you guys. Good to hear that you're back on your yeah. feet, Rita. So hopefully wish you a speedy recovery from um, whatever it is that you are going on. So, um, yeah, hopefully you are uh, fully back up to speed now and good to see Everton actually won a game. Um, there you go. Uh, James says, just quickly, Gallagher saying on Ref Watch that the challenge on Beto was fine. Really? Running clean through, and a fella moving across the defender as you 
as you're taught to, to do, yeah. and the defender catches you and takes you off thing, that's fine. It wasn't a penalty because it wasn't in the box. It was outside the box, but it was a red card. It was a red card. And what, um, I need to know what, what reason he's given. Because they've invented this thing, haven't they, that the referees are deciding that that wasn't a hard enough push for you to go over, you know, as if they know. You know? It's quite, hang on, there's loads of this. this, this Haven't you yesterday in the Man United game? Well, I mean, look so at Harvey Elliott's over. penalty. It was never, ever a penalty, the really? one on that. But again, the crossover thing, mm. it's always a free kick. And it's always a booking. You yeah. see it a million times. Yeah. So, that it, listen, he should have been off. Gallagher can, the skeleton can say what he wants. He's absolutely dreadful. He's dreadful, that fella. Um, we should get our own ref, shouldn't we? We'll Mark Woods, correct me. Yeah, definitely. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Moyes have the worst record in the league against the big six? It's mm, a bit random. I think away from home, his record yeah, wasn't yeah, great. He beats everybody at Goodison. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. That's away from home is a big problem. Uh, that's yeah. something ever. And it was only the top four, yeah, yeah. actually, because the days, big six, he beats Spurs loads of times yeah, away. Yeah. Um, and who else is in it? Now Man City won at City seven years out of nine, so yeah. wasn't City either. Mm. And then that top four, it was Liverpool. Well, well, we've won once in 30 years or something there, or 25 years, so can't put that on on Moyes. Um, United, we've won once in 30 years there. Um, who else? Arsenal, yeah. Get battered there every year, no matter who your manager is. So as far back as Tony Adams scoring, mm, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. You know, so yeah. Listen, David Moyes, people used to have a go at him. He was brilliant for Everton, and and he's been brilliant for West Ham. Where West Ham are, even Saturday getting beat, just turned it round. Uh, but certainly beat everybody at Goodison. Beat United at Goodison. Beat Liverpool at Goodison. Arsenal at Goodison. None of them wanted to years. come. Ferguson oh, used to no, say, "Worst place it. to go yeah. there." So I'll, don't no. like going there. No. Nope. Um, Hot off the presses. Club haven't heard anything yet about the points. John Riley says, I wish the MSP would take over the club completely. Why? They're, they're just the same, I think. I think anyone you get in these things would be just the same. Um, but MSP have had no interest in taking the club over. They and don't it, want to. Basically, sharks just looking to they try. They don't want to. to they don't want it. to. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. the stadium. Sean Collins says Triple Seven are going to sell our new stadium. Okay. The football club owns the stadium. Mm. And Triple Seven hope to own the football club. That's not the same as them owning the stadium. Good luck with that one. Mm. But I don't... Selling a minority stake would be good. Yeah, get money. I don't understand why people think MSP wouldn't want to do the same. Or MSP are trying to get it, if you believe reports, are trying to get it. I'd like sharks in the water and strip the football club down. So I don't understand that for you either. Listen, the way it is, there's nobody out there who wants to buy our football club who we would all be dancing in the streets when they come in. Nobody. Because even if you've got a Gulf state coming in and, oh, these are worth 300 billion, look at what goes on in them places. Well, you get the Newcastle thing then. Exactly. Oh, Man City as well, to some, to a lesser degree. Mm, so, uh, but the the reality is they're not, are they? There's not. There's nobody there. So uh, anyway, we've done this to death. There are people it, expressing it, triple seven, seven will take over. Doing. Yeah, but that's all they're doing. I'm sorry, right? I, I've got no interest in people hiding in shadows Listen. and mythical these mythical groups that are there with billions to spend. They mm. want to do well for the club. They want the club for a song, right? That's my. That's only my opinion. I don't get behind anybody. It's easy, isn't it? I could say I'm going to do anything. Oh, you know what? If I was owning that, I'd do this. this you know what? With it. You know, it's nonsense. Put your money where your mouth is, then. Honest, guys. You know what? If uh, if if I'm somebody with loads of money, an investment mm -hmm. company of some ilk, yeah, yeah, right. You want to get in into this sort of thing, and I'm seeing that it looks like. Maybe they see the opposite, but if it looks like Triple Seven uh, are going to get approval from the Premier League, mm. then go to Triple Seven and say, "How about we come in with you, lad?" Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll take twenty five percent of your stretch mm. <laughs> if you like, yeah, and, and uh, which is ultimately, you know, what MSP tried to do with Mashiri. They wanted twenty five. They just wanted a small bit yeah, of it. Yeah, that I think was to get the foot through the door, and a bit like Jim Ratcliffe 
pay 25% to run the footballing side. Mm. I think they wanted 25% to run the stadium side. Mm. They don't want to run the football club, as no. far as I understand it, MSP. They don't want to own a football club, control it. Mm. And that's why they wanted a minority stake. And we've said for months upon months, anyone out there, or indeed MSP who were there first, could have done what Triple Seven have done. They could have said, yeah. we'll try and buy the whole thing. Mm. We'll fund the business while, while the process is going on. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, we may end up with one of the, the last great jewels in the crown called the Premier League, you know, history and all that sort of mm. stuff. And then if they've got funding, then they make it great again. If they haven't, they probably, you know, flip it at some stage and make a few bob. Yeah. yeah. Listen, we yeah. said it before. So. Uh, it'd, it'd be great if some billionaire come in and he had good intentions and he was determined. Got in the way. No, but that's what I mean. It's still, it's you're still ham hamstrung anyway, aren't you? By the rules and and how you do things now. It's not the same as when Chief Mansour bought City and he could spend and then because don't forget their first their first takeover, which you know what wasn't great. No, it wasn't. Mansour come in and righted some of them wrongs, but still spent money on. It still took them a while to Trial start error, getting while, everything yeah. going. They could correct it. Their... Five years, really, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but they could correct it. Their... Well, they won the league in 2012. He took over in 2009, so it took three years. Yeah, but... yeah, but it was five but before was... they were established, established. Yeah, and yeah. and it, it's all about trying to, you know, you, while you've got... Look how long the Champions League took. Well, exactly. But while you've got no restriction, you can just keep going like that mm. with the money, can't you? Whereas now the restrictions are there. You've mm. almost got to, you've got to get everything right. And like Newcastle are finding now, and, and it's hard. Doesn't as well as that, what do you do because you've, there's no like way to you can't quickly go to it, can you? Yeah. So because the rules just go now, you're at that limit now. So you you know, spend I mean, it. the rules around related party agreements mm -hmm. clearly, City again got up in under the wire on that one, right? Um, and, and Newcastle are sitting there. How long is it since their owners took them over? Yeah, um, and their fans must be thinking, what's going on? We're mid table. You know, maybe without all this money, we'd be happy with mid-table. But we've had a taste. We've been in the Champions League. We overperformed. Mm. And now we're getting told we've got to sell our star players to make progress. Yeah, it is mad, isn't it? Totally. It is mad. I just want a decision. I've said it all along. I just want it. We just need to be able to draw a line under both of these things, mm. whatever it is, this the, the points thing. And I know... If it's any points, we'll appeal, but at least we'll kind of know because I don't believe Forrest will get theirs increased, and I don't believe if we'll appeal, we'll get ours increased. No. So we'll almost know worst, worst case, case scenario. Yeah, yeah. And I think we need the same thing with the the, the takeover I, thing. It needs to be I've said all along. I think it'll be approved, but if it isn't, if it wasn't to be approved, that needs to be out there as well of now. It does. But yeah. it's just I mean they're just going uh, like that. Ever you know, if you if you do your strategy, you know, plan your dive. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. you can dive the plan. And, and actually that that analogy I saw about is perfect, right? Yeah. Before you know the result, you've made the decision if you get a points deduction, you're mm. going to appeal. Yeah. Not like wait, see what happens and then decide and, and mm. get yourself into that spot of, oh, maybe one's all right and all that sort of stuff. No, no. no. And let a... them know as well. Yeah, yeah. We get a points deduction, we will be appealing. 100%. And that gives us two things. Always two things. Mm. One is with the last club in court. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which by definition means we know what happened to Forrest. Yeah. Right? If Forrest don't get it put up, then we know we're clear we're on that clear, one don't yeah, we yeah. Yeah. and i'm sure if you if you say you're going to appeal on the seventh day and then you find out two days later that forest have been told to bugger off so to speak mm -hmm. and you think well no point us going through it because we think we know what's going to happen now mm -hmm. you could change your mind couldn't you if you wanted to mm -hmm. or at least have a one day appeal you know what i mean mm -hmm. try and speed yeah. everything up but um, say, saving the ic a few pence getting your points back that's crazy <laughs> well Everton are gonna I mean Forrest have done it and fair play to them and Everton are gonna do it well they should drag the Premier League Forrest have got to do what to ever the best end. for them mm. well Everton are gonna Everton, so it means the Premier League now is not gonna finish on the Sunday at Arsenal it's gonna be the week later before people know their fate yeah. and that's all the Premier League's own Absolutely. doing and, and Everton should make it as messy as they possibly can now for the Premier League you know what mate I'd, I'd love to know if um any effort was put into by the Premier League of trying to have some, uh, uh, as Sam Cuthbert said, you know, mm. our, our find in, a fine our in common ground. Yeah, mm. our in-house barrister. But mm. find common ground, but but also to find a way where neither club 
appeal. felt the need to appeal. Mm -hmm. Because I'm pretty damn sure everything Forrest are doing is in relation to what's happening to us and vice versa, you know. And, and, and Common Ground might have had, you know, at least the two clubs settling on something. But, yeah, but maybe both are just so short-sighted they can never accept that mm -hmm. one or the other should end up with more points deducted than the other one, you know. Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Um, apparently, Gallagher said, though, the James Garner one was a penalty. Well, it was. Oh. That was a penalty. And so was... DCL last week. Mm -hmm. But hey ho, what can we do? Well, how many points have we lost because of that? No, I know. It's two games. I know, well, just, that's the... Nil-nil, penalty, know. bang. Mm -hmm. One nil up, away. No, actually, no, we're not giving that one. Mm -hmm. And then you don't get any contact at all by, by Juan Basaka. And I've been reading the papers today and watch match of the day, listen to Sky. No one talked about it like it was a dispute. It's like, oh, that was a pen. He was a bit stupid, wasn't he, diving in? A half yelly at one. It was a penalty. No, Wamba was, Saka. Oh, Wamba. Yeah, it was never a penalty. That's right. Never but a penalty. The whole media have decided not not worth talking about. No, they won't, will they? Because it's, it's, it is what Maybe it is. Maybe it's who the penalty was for. I don't know. It's just, it's just a bad decision, and that's the way it is, isn't it? Um, Stuart said, good afternoon. Let's just tuned in and sky them from where. Let's hope the points deduction gets turned into suspend the points deduction. Much needed win over Ben. Can I comment on this suspended thing, right? Uh, go ahead. It's a bit like people talking about how brilliantly we did to get players with no money, yeah, mm -hmm. and push the liability into a future financial year mm -hmm. when it'll probably make us fail PSR, yeah? The same with points deductions. I want it done, right? Mm -hmm. As you said before, I want us as a, as a fan base to be able to say, right, there you go, it's done. Mm -hmm. We got one point, two point, no points, whatever it was, we know now, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, the thought that you'd start next season, perhaps in June, you know, rumours start that we failed PSR again, yeah? And we get to next January, February time, and we're back where we were last January, February time, thinking mm. how many points we're going to get deducted. We don't need it. Let's have a line in the sand that says, beyond that line, we're okay. Mm. And the same with the ownership thing. We need it resolved, don't we, before the start of next season, whatever division we're in. The thing is... That's my view, anyway. The prem, you know, the thing is, while we're building the stadium, we're, we're vulnerable. We're vulnerable for failing it for next season as well. No, because the stadium doesn't count. Mm. No, but the money, well, my money's oh, going there. Cash flow. Well, it can't be for anything else. Oh, If it isn't for the stadium, and we don't buy players, it can't be but for we anything. we do buy players. We don't, though. Amortisation went up, so we must have... Okay. Well, it's true. Okay. It's true. <laughs> we also made a profit of forty-seven and a half million. Well, on, we've made a profit of trading. sixty million. We wouldn't have reached, would we? Okay. No, it's true. Well, then the whole football club, everyone needs to be sacked. Then, if you can't put, you can't find that squad is embarrassing. It There's is. no players in it. It is. There's no players in it. It's thin as anything. It is. And we keep true. cutting, and yeah. we're still failing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not disputing that. Uh, it's. Without We've the had this stadium, chat many we'll times, better. right, about we have to buy players. Yes, we do, but you have to have an organisation which either makes an objective decision to breach PSR because the consequences of not are a squad so thin that you're going to get relegated mm. anyway mm. type of thing, uh, which is sort of where Forrest have gone. Yeah, yeah. We just spend, 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 mm. spend, spend. We know we're breaking You may as well do it. We know we're rating the rules. No one's ever been done for breaking these rules. Then Everton get done. Then they get done. And then they argue it's not fair. Mm. Right? But they knew what the rules were. I'm being really objective. Yeah, of course. Everton knew what the rules were as well. Mm. When we committed to Chimissi, when we committed to Beto, when we committed to Dan Juma, blah, 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 mm. blah, 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 blah. All those sorts of things. We know, or we should know, how far that takes oh, yeah, us yeah. across the line or not, as the case may be. What's unfortunate is... Even if we knew all those things and we played our co cards properly, we still got things getting dumped on us, which we had little or no control over. Mm. And that should be where our, our argument is. Yeah. Right? No, I'm talking about next. No, I get it. Next season. Yeah. And, and, and right now, I think the football pro probably thinks, and I, I, I did it in the, the MTAG article, I might have commented on it, mm. and then I tried to validate it when I spoke to the club and, you know, whatever, um, is much of what we're suffering now is the unravelling of mistakes made before. 
Mm. We all know that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, of course we do, yeah. And, and it just shows you, and this becomes part of your mitigation then, the nature of this game is decisions you made two, three, four, five years ago are why you breach things are killing now. it now, yeah. Because you've got to do certain things as you go along. You've mm. got to give players additional money when the contracts come up for renewal or they get, they leave. Yeah. You've got to pay certain wages to attract people to your club. You've mm. got to pay transfer fees. You've got to pay loan fees. Loan fees going up is an indictment of you can't afford transfer fees, isn't it? Of course, you, yeah. You're taking... Because you're starting to you loan know, players and, and, instead and, and so on and so forth, yeah. yeah. And then anyone who then comes along and sits in a room, either bigger or smaller than this one, and concludes, but they're normal business problems that you have to deal with. Yeah, but doesn't make the regulatory environment work, and it doesn't mm. work. And we know that because ultimately the people who set the regulations are the 12 members of the Premier League. And all of a sudden, from Everton, you cheating so-and-sos, yeah, mm. being isolated over there somewhere, become two. Mm. Become three. And become three, four, whatever. Yeah. But the ones who thought they were safe from this are starting to worry about it. Yeah. Even the biggies, mm. right? Man United got more money. God, if you want to look at a badly run football club, pre-Jim Ratcliffe, there's one, mm. isn't it? Untold riches, mm. can buy any player they want, probably attract most players on the planet, and yet here they sit, you know, struggling around, winning games on individual brilliance. The team doesn't have any shape, whatever, whatever, mm. whatever. And if Man United can be perceived, that when people start looking close enough, as not particularly well run, yeah. with the huge, and forget the Glazers from now, with the huge amount of money they've got, and what chance does a Nottingham Forest have? Mm. You know, with a 30 million turnover suddenly going into a, a league where someone's got 20 times your turnover. Yeah, and now the Premier League, being the clubs, want to change the regime so that the bigger your turnover, the better it is for you. Okay. It's a farce. Yeah. Complete and utter fast, man. Right, let's show you a few of these. Uh, Dan says, Baz, after initially criticising, you've decided to give Huel a go. The black <laughs> edition one. I've, I'm on the strawberries and cream <laughs> at the moment, which are oh, gorgeous. The milkshake one. Pear does like a, uh, like a savoury one each what day. What is this thing? Is it a food supplementy thing? Is yeah, it? It's just it's like a meal replay. But I, I just have it because I like it. Like To be fair, today I've got tuna sandwiches, but tomorrow I'll have me huge. What is it, heavy in protein? It's like 25 grams of protein, but it's got loads of nutrients and vitamins in it. So it's waste type stuff. Okay, cool. Mm, but I just, I'm not doing it because I'm going to lose weight yeah. or not. It's just nice, yeah. I think. And it takes out the, I think, oh, I know what I'm having for my lunch. No, I used to I use mean? one when I was pretending I was making one. an effort at running. Mm, <laughs> but he has a shame. Well, Ped got into it with the with running. No running, it, mm. no, no training at all these days. But it's nice though. It's nice. Sophie says it. Triple Seven had talks last week with the league, and the league is still not satisfied. Not looking good for them. Who says this? Sophie. I. No, I no. Who told Sophie this? No, well, that was what that's be Josh Amar or they've done yeah. another article. What it's a surprise it's today! About money on January, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sponsor. Well, they will keep recycling, and they haven't done one for yeah. a week, so they look for something else. Um, well, now I think the MSP thing's got to be paid by next Monday, hasn't it, or something? Fifteenth. So next Monday, so hopefully they'll pay that and that's MSP out the way and gone. Gone away forever, hopefully. Um, and we'll move on. But I think it. that's a, probably a date set by the club, not by anyone else. Well, yeah, well, whatever. Whatever. Um, I think the Premier League probably, not di not necessarily deliberately, have been dragging their feet. Mm -hmm. so. Well, the Premier League have. Yeah. Scandalous what they've done to us. They didn't want us using the top bowling excuse of uh, not on our watch kind of thing, so... That's the way it you know is. What's but... going to be interesting, and it will be interesting even mm. when it happens, because these sorts of things are going to come out in the wash, aren't they, eventually? Mm. Yeah, they'll come out. Yeah. Right now, you, you talk about Forrest saying how unique their situation is. Mm. It, it's common as muck compared to our unique situation, which mm. is right now the regulator at the same time is deciding whether we can have a change of ownership and whether we should have a points deduction. How do you go really in with two-footed knee-high like the Nottingham Forest owner did, yeah? Mm. When you want them to give at least give you an answer exactly. on the other you one. Exactly, you can, can you? So, so, so they're on eggshells? So we're just in a... Uh, uh, listen, I have no idea whether or not Everton would have gone hard in off them if they'd have had a little bit more control over the situation. Under the old leadership, the old board and stuff, no. Mm. Under the current one, probably not either. Mm. But if we changed owners... In, 
say, Christmas time. Yeah, believe me. It would have been fundamentally different because people like Colin Chong, if he was still in post, would have the confidence of having the owner behind him, wouldn't he? And that's where the Forest ones come from, hasn't it? The owner has gone, no, I'm not having this. I just think it's... I just think when you're allowing someone to make a decision, if it, if they're really that bad, right? Get say no. Get rid of them. Baz, it's boring, mate. But I know that's what I mean. So they're mate, just dangling. It's, that, it's no, boring. What, We've only, heard all that before. No, but the only mean. reason why I'm saying it is, it's not even about whether Triple Seven are good, bad, and different for Everton. It's the fact the Premier League are doing keeping us. You know, while this is running, we're not even going to give you. A yes or well, no well, the on Premier this. League replied eventually to the fan mm. advisory board, didn't it? Mm. Okay, and and gave a very bland explanation of how the process works. Yeah, yeah, um, which neither confirmed or denied that they refuse people, right? Because mm. clearly, if you've been to prison for murder, they'll refuse you. Yeah, yeah. But there's lots of things you can do which they won't refuse you for. Right. Uh, right okay, we, we just had the. Thing, is it? Two points. Everton have been deducted two points uh, as expected, as we've been saying for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we have. Yeah. It's uh, there you go. So the Blues drop below Brentford in the Premier League on twenty-seven points again. Yeah, yeah it's apparently going to be on the club's website yeah, at two o'clock. It'll be on soon. So there you go. Two points. It is. It's not. You know, like I said, it's not unexpected. Um. Knew that was coming, said it. If you'd have been here last week, I said it. And it's uh, there you go. I'm disappointed. Um, it will appeal. Everton will appeal it. So keep going. Have we got any official there? Uh, how do you just look in or is it just started? It's everywhere. It's all in the comments. Now, Mark Woods on the super chat says, John, grounds for court of arbitration. Two charges in a season versus zero for City and Chelsea. The difference versus Nottingham Forest and the QC comments and admission that PSR isn't fit for purpose. Oh, well, Steen seems to have been the man who got the news He's first. Always getting yeah, it. He was. He's their yeah. client journalist, yeah. isn't he? Um, the uh, Premier League are not a member of Court of Arbitration, so you can't go there. Yeah, which is crazy because the Premier League are quite openly in bed with UEFA, who do have the Court of Arbitration. So. So we need to see the judgment. It is crazy. We need uh, to see the judgment now as to why it's two. But there you go. It is getting appealed. Everton will appeal it. Um, two points is an absolute disgrace. One, I knew it was going to be, obviously, we, but we one, one was, would have been. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there you go. Yeah. I'm not, like I said, anyone who's been watching this will know that said this last week what it was going to be and mm. there's the confirmation today and we've just got to get on with it now haven't we that's until there's we can't no, do nothing until May I think it is yeah there's no way a Forest are going to get any back if we've got further points because mm. the calculations you've done we've mm. now had eight points deducted for an aggregate breach which is probably less than theirs <laughs> which yeah. is mad it is crazy yeah. isn't it it's crazy but there you go that's that's where we're up against. So all the people and... with the rumour mongering about oh Finch Farm, people were all told on Saturday. <laughs> we'll now go told you so, won't they? But I got told on Friday. Yeah. So. No, it, there's plenty. <laughs> yeah, Div we could have told you on Friday. Yeah, two pointers most likely. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. At least we know now. Uh, on we go, on we go. So back at the Premier League updated their league table. Yeah, the next asterisk on it. Asterisk on it. <laughs> Um, they must be embarrassed. They must be Premier League. You know, our masters have still got a job. Is incredible, isn't it? Daily, it's incredible. Um, what he, um, the storm that he has caused. Premier League's uh, website still shows us with twenty nine. Yeah, so we're going. Yes, and that's because it's not official yet. Though, I was going to say so it'll be official at two yeah. o'clock. So we go down below Brentford now. Two points ahead of Luton and Nottingham Forest. Game on. Yeah, there you go. You gone quiet, bad. There you go. You're no, no, no. I'm not this well. I knew. I knew last week what yeah. it was. Um, just the way it is, mate. It's frustrating, isn't it? Because it is frustrating. It, because you, st even though you know, you look and you say, "Yeah, but really, how have they done this?" It, it, it makes no sense that you can. It'll be three points for yeah. breaching minus one. No, of course it will. Yeah. For the mitigation, for the mitigation. Yeah. absolutely. That's we, how it'll break we've down. just had that conversation about. Mm. The entry point will be three points, and we've managed to argue it down to two. Mm -hmm. 
so, sounds like that's a bit harsh to me, but hey ho, yeah. yeah. Um, maybe on appeal will be a bit more. My plausible. thing isn't for it. My thing isn't the fact they've been. I mean, it is deductions are, are, are embarrassments. They're an embarrassment to the competition mm. you're playing because it's just basically Sunday league football now. Yeah, yeah. But the whole thing about it is, you shouldn't. In no universe should you be getting twice po- points deducted twice in the same season yeah. for two different years. I don't care. People can say now and they go, well, you should have had them last season. No, we shouldn't because the Premier League only decided last season that they were going halfway through it, that they were going to now actually do some start doing things. Yeah. No, no. They didn't get to the summer and go, right, from now on, use it. It's the next, fi- the minute we know the finances, you're getting done in that year. Yeah. And it was a hand picked hanging judge mm. who said, no. You can't do this till later in the year. So that that is where it is. I, if if that would have come out and said two points and they start in August, Everton start next season minus two points. Mm. If Everton are relegated, uh, then they whenever they're back in the Premier League, they're on a minus two points. Mm. Had they gone, right? Okay, there you go. That's the way it is. We've you know, two, but to put both of the clump both the points together for one thing is to me. Is absolutely nonsense. But there it is. That's Premier what League it is. We'll now we try and hurry these things up to get the appeals done before the end of the so season. So, if Everton, if Everton have got anything about them, they'll drag the feet now. Well, Don't play by the rules. Appeal a week today. Yeah. yeah leave it a week um, and then just drag the heels on it. And so it, it seems with a. Because they're good boys, Forrest, mm. that their outcome will be known before the end of the season. Mm hmm. And mm. then the Premier League just need to hope that Everton win matches. Yeah. You know, so everyone deduces that Everton's appeal doesn't matter. Forrest won't steep A. If Forrest get two points back, then so will Everton. So Everton ev- effectively won't receive any points deductions then. That's right, yeah. There's not a chance Forrest get any points back. And the same with Everton. There's zero chance Everton will get any back. Mm. But what you have to do, yeah, Curtis Roberts is saying 16.6 million is the breach. Okay, that's a good... I don't know where that's come from, but nice one, Curtis. Maybe it's in the judgment, because... If that's in there, yeah. We Um, reckoned, well, we knew, we worked out. I thought it'd be 15, yeah, Yeah. but there you go, 16.6. 6, Mm. 16.6. 6, apparently. Um, So, well, listen, we know what it is now, don't we? It's just come on the Premier League website. Nice one, Curtis. So there you go. Um... I know, Steve, but did it honestly, mate? They couldn't then give Forrest another two back and not give Everton. They just couldn't. They couldn't. If they give Forrest points back, they have to give Everton them Everton back. Everton have had eight points deducted for aggregate breaches of 36.1 million. Mm. Forrest had 34.5 million, got four points. Mm. Okay, here's the club statements. In January 2024, Everton were charged by the Premier League for breaching the permitted profit and sustainable sustainability threshold for. The assessment period ending 2022-23. The matter was referred to the Premier League Commission, which has today announced Everton will receive an immediate two-point deduction. While the club's position has, has been that no further sanction was appropriate, the club is pleased to see that the Commission has given credit to the majority of the issues raised by the club, including the concept of double punishment. Uh, the significant mi- migrating uh, circumstances facing the club due to the war in Ukraine and the high level of cooperation and the early admission of the club's breach. Everton remains committed to working collaboratively with the league on all matters re- relating to PSR, but is, it, but is extremely concerned by the inconsistencies of different mm. commissions in respect to the points deductions applied the club would like to place on record it's thanks to the fan advisory board and the other fan groups for mm-hmm. the submission during the process and to all Evertonians for ongoing patience and under, uh, un, unstinting support. The club and its legal representation representatives will have begun the preparations to appeal the commission's decision. No That's further really comment will be made at this time. Now, the, the inconsistency there is clear as day, isn't it? Because it appears we've got some uh, deduction from the entry point or starting points because we agreed, you know, we worked with them and we admitted guilt early on. Mm. Morris got two points for that. Seems like we got one, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, it's just the way it's So that's the inconsistency. The whole thing is, what's the, po- what's the point? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it, um... I can't wait to see who the judge was. Yeah. Happy days. 
das ist not really. Yeah, there you go. Um, can Aaron Moore says, can the club stop being pleased? The club should be fuming. Sean Taylor says, Baz, what happens with City and Chelsea then? Why are they making an example of us? Because we're easy. We're easy to do, aren't we? Sophie, we did say last week when they, they get a point deduction deal, it'll be appealing it. Yeah. And they've confirmed it, so there you go. They're preparing to appeal. Um, but they'll formalise that. And Timothy not says, not clear. appealing, talk that. Everton's statement. No, well, it says at the bottom they're, coming, they're appealing it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. They are appealing it. Um, so yeah. it's a new, a new chair. I think, you know what, I think Everton needs to, Evertonians need to be looking at some way they can go after the Premier League. I don't know what it is. Mm. Um, I know Will Hanrahan is trying to get a class action going and I think maybe everybody needs to be uh, getting ready to sign this. There must be something that they can look at for mm. the, the stress they put on the supporters this mm. season. Everton still played three months with a minus 10 mm. <clears throat> points thing, which was totally unacceptable. Mm. Altered the conditions of football for months. Mm. Um, there's but, redacted parts of the judgment. So it's blacked out, so you can't read what, what was yeah, said. Yeah, they're a disgrace. But it seems like Richard Kenyon spent a fair amount of time trying to explain what a, how hard we were hit by the USM thing and how difficult it was to re- try and replace it. Mm. Uh, Steve says, Baz and Forrest don't... Six, Paul Joyce. Yeah, yeah, well, it's in the yeah, yeah. yeah it's on. But Forrest don't get any points back. Does that mean me? But I don't stay honestly right. I honestly don't think either club will get any points back on appeal. They're not. That's my. That's just my. I have no idea, mate. You, you I have no clue. I just don't think either club will get anything back on appeal. Mm. Not ever. Not Forrest. I think it. What it is now is what it will be. Um, and all Everton can do is hammer. Curtis says three points was the starting point, plus two for the size of the breach. Oh, right. And Everton got three points off for mitigation. Ah, now that's very interesting because that huge inconsistency then, isn't it? Because we're saying that 16.6 gives you five points, but 34.5 gives you six. That's mad. Forrest should be worried. I think there's possible... But there's an argument there by the Premier League to say they should have points taken. The ones they got given back, taken back again. In other words, go up from four to five. But but we know it's not. There's no, happen. I mean, there's no sort. I mean, Oliver says it, making the rules up as they go along again. Double jeopardy and they try to gaslight us into thinking two points is low. Mm. Nonsense. Yeah, it is absolute nonsense. It's, I, yeah. I, that he can't read it on my phone. We need three wins. Yeah. Three yeah. wins keeps us up. Can't read it on my phone, but 19 and a half gave us six points and 16.6 gave us five, but we mitigated it down. That's, that's, that's all. It's a joke. The, the whole thing fans. is a joke. We've been deducted eight points and Forrest have only had four. Yeah. Like, how mad. does that work? It's mad. <sighs> that's, that's absolutely crazy. Have yeah. you read out the Premier League statement, John? Did you... No, I didn't read it out. No. Premier League statements as an independent commission has given a immediate two-point deduction to Everton for the breach of the Premier League's PSR. Uh, over a three-day hearing last month, the independent commission heard evidence and arguments from the club in respect of a range of potential migrating factors, uh, mitigating factors, sorry, uh, for its uh, admitted breach of 16.6 million, including the impact of two successive PSR charges. Having done so, the commission determined the appropriate sanction to be two-point deduction taking effect immediately. The Independent Commission reaffirmed the principle that any breach of PSR is significant and justifies indeed requires a sporting sanction. Yeah, we know uh, this. Commission... Com- Commissions are independent of the Premier League and member clubs. The members of the commission were appointed by the independent chair of the Premier League judicial panel. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what. I don't know. So Everton argued that a starting point of five points was wrong, but the judge didn't agree. Said it's disproportionate in comparison with the size of the breach by Nottingham Forest. Um... We pointed out big percentage differences, and the judge just says, "Yeah, but we don't think so." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, 
we do not regard the further deduction of points to be excessive, unfair to Everton, or disproportionate in com comparison to the recent Nottingham Forest decision. In any uh, in any event, we are set out above that we respectfully disagree with the Nottingham Forest interpretation about Everton's appeal, and blah blah blah. So it's all that you know. It's a load of quote rubbish. each other. Uh, they acknowledge the Fab's impact statement. Um, and they've given us three points back out of the five. Yeah. Well, uh, there you go. There you go. Everton's circumstances are described as unique. The sanction has been substantially reduced by reason of the points deduction imposed in, for 22, which we think is fair. A sanction of two points is, in our view, reasonable and proportionate to achieve the aim of PSR. The sanction is sufficient to ensure the integrity of the PSR and public confidence in the Premier League, but it is not such a level as to undermine public confidence. Like movie where it says 10, 6, 4 and 2 yeah. from the four commissions. Absolutely. It shows an absolute embarrassment yeah. of what the Premier League are. They're an embarrassment of an organisation run by an embarrassment of a CEO. And as for the chair, it shouldn't be anywhere near uh, allowed to remain in that role for what they've done to the Premier League this season. Throw in VAR and all of the other nonsense. It's an absolute joke of a organisation. And it's we've, we've seen it. The, the, the curtain's been pulled back this season. Um it's crazy because it's run worse than Sunday League. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. And now they've put an ad out today. Who? Premier League. Premier League to have a go at an independent regulator. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. In some... Because oh, you know, they don't want to come in, and we don't want them looking at our homework. We don't want them being able to see where we're putting different types of things, benefits. Yeah, I'll and stand else. corrected when I've read this properly. But it seems to mm. me that this judge has compared Everton's first breach with the second one. <laughs> and and the forest thing is just over there. Yeah, it says Everton said five points was disproportionate. That was the starting point. Um because the forest was much larger in absolute terms, the thirty four and a half million versus Everton sixteen point six. Mm. Percentage terms, forest breached by fifty five point six percent, Everton breached by fifteen point eight. Everton also stressed uh, stressed that Forest had exceeded the upper threshold by a much bigger number. Um, and so on and so forth. And then the judge says, notwithstanding these comparisons, we consider our starting point to be appropriate. <laughs> Don't explain why, just says we consider it to be appropriate. Because they're given, they're told what to do by the Premier League. Well, we don't know what Premier League asked for, do we really? Because um, I can't mm. read on my phone that fast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It is what it is. We've appealed, and we, so there we go. Well, we haven't appealed, but we will. We will, yeah. We will, for and sure. We've just got one. We've, you know, one point Any less point than deduction, administration. I think we'd have appealed, yeah, so. We should have just gone into administration, John, as people yeah. wanted. We'd have only had nine. <laughs> we've had eight. We'd have only had nine for administration. Mm. Hilarious. But um, three wins, and we'll be sound. Yeah. So our number ended up at, at 62.7 million. No, the 89 came mm. down to 62.7. Yeah. Okay. Well, doesn't really change much. We've still got to win three mm. games. Um, we do that, we'll be all right. And if, we, if those three games are against the right clubs, even better. Beat Forest, beat Luton. Well, Luton aren't getting 35 points. No. I can't see Forest will be touch and go whether they get 35. So, for Everton. Three victory. In fact, three wins would give us 36 points, wouldn't it? So yeah. we'd be safe. Supercomputer says we end up with 38. There you go. Well, we'd be well safe with that because Luton aren't getting anywhere near that. That's right. So we know what we have to do. Um, what's embarrassing is, though, these these are obviously getting changed. These rules in the summer as well. It, it, it's embarrassing for both Everton and Forest mm. because they're going to be the only two clubs who get done under this, aren't they? Mm. Even though all those other clubs are on the cusp. Mad. I think the question has to be asked: How on earth did they get to ten points in the first place for the uh, first one? Hanging judge. That is just. That is just. And uh, everything you know. has been relative to that. Yeah. But how and can that... you have four different commissions come up with no, four no, different I just, outcomes? I just though? think that 
I just find it crazy that you go back to that first one, and again, because there was no perimeters in place, it was just a, it was just a, a free for all, and it's we've fallen victim to it, of course. But mm. how can again, you know, the Premier League putting out that advert today? How can they justify anything they say about not wanting um, uh, someone to oversee them when? biggest league in the world is just handing down sentences that, that hang over someone's head for two, three months and mm. jeopardises the the long-term security of a football club. Mm. Just out of thin air. That is crazy. And then we've seen it. And then as we've gone along, we're seeing less and less and less. And there's just been no consistency because they're all different people. And as John just said there, they're taking... They're taking bits and pieces off the different commissions. And they're still talking about the EFL. Yeah, it's, Even and it's, in this it's, one, it's, it's Frankenstein. The it's, EFL. it's all just Frankenstein. I mean, yeah, and it, it yeah. shouldn't have to be. It should have just been, all this should have been down on paper and said, this is what you get. If you breach, you get this. And if you, and and it's it's just, the way it's been done, it's so amateur. Mm. It feels like, feels like back in the day, Baz, when, when we used to get, um, you know, you you get booked on a Sunday league match and then, you know, if the referee decided to put it in, yeah, you'd get yeah. a twenty-one pound fine. Yeah. But somehow, maybe you could sweet talk him into mm. not giving you don't, it. Oh, you know, come on, that mate. Both it. of us have no yeah, stupid yeah. blah, blah blah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Or you know, how many times did me and you after? Uh, how many times did we 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 would have get done for not having corner flags and not having yeah, yeah. and all this nonsense? Yeah. You know, because the because the local FAs were looking to for a bit of a change for don't the Christmas party money, yeah. and yeah. all that kind of well, thing. Well, you know, you'd always get done in December when yeah. we wanted a night out. Always. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'd always put the bookings in, yeah, even though yeah. the week before they hadn't. They said, "Oh no, doesn't matter." They put it in, or yeah, they mm. do you for the corner flag or whatever, kicking off late, whatever it was. Same with you know things happening. But that's what it feels like, doesn't it? Just yeah. feels like it's made up. It just feels like it's all being made up. And made up. At, and that is the that at the end of it is the is the top and bottom of this whole thing is that it's a system. That feels like it's been pulled out of the drawer, dust blown off it, and they've just gone, do what you want, lads. It mm. doesn't really matter. It's not they're not important, these clubs. It's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Premier League tried to um not have the interest on the stadium to our benefit and then change their mind. I I, I don't know what. I'll be honest, I have no clue what I'm even thinking anymore. Yeah. I really haven't. It's just like, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gareth Hughes says eight weeks in hospital today. Jesus, wow. Gareth. No fun, is it, my friend? After three defeats and three draws, we finally get a win. Got shouted at by a nurse for swearing loudly at the TV. Need to get out of here. Shouting at the telly, I'm turning into a red. Um, Daniel says, was that the lowest mood you've ever seen? Felt leaving Goodison Park after a win. You could hear a pin drop on Goodison Road. Um, it was a strange atmosphere leaving the match at the weekend. Well, so the game the finished. The thing had kind of put a pin in it, hadn't it? And I yeah. think the points, we, everyone knew the points deduction. Hang on, hang on. Today. Sorry. Go ahead. Our mate has just tweeted something. Who's our mate? Who's our, who's our favourite person concerning... Uh, Stefan. Yes. This two-point Everton deduction is for admitted breach... There is a further potential breach subject to a further hearing. What's he talking about? I have no idea. What is he talking about? I have no Come idea. On. Fellas are dickhead. I have no in idea. My opinion. Why don't you ask him? What's that about? I don't know. He'll have it in his big long suite, surely. Oh, he's... Uh, and then he's quote tweet is saying, this this second... Um, he's put limb. I don't know what he's talking about. Can't be dealt with under... Uh, the expedited process, so it means another potential point, surely not more, to be ducted in 24 25. What's he's he talking, talking about bull. I don't know what, what he's he talking. talking about. I don't know what he's talking this about. This fella needs shutting down quickly, honestly. Can't wait for this club to be done, City, although it'll never happen. And then we'll see what he has to say, how righteous he is over Man City. <laughs> know what I mean? He's got some mileage out of tweeting about Everton. Well, I can tell you, Clause 20 in, yeah. the, in the judgment says, um, it talks about this decision. So this is Clause 19, mm. right? Um, so they've decided what the what the breach is based on this 16.6 million, right? Mm. Um, blah, blah, blah. But second, at a later date, 
the Commission will determine whether there has been a further breach of the PSR in respect of A, the retrospective capitalization of, of FY21 and 22, and B, the capitalization of interest relating to FY23 as alleged by the PL's amendment. Accordingly, a further he hearing will follow. It is therefore remains to be determined whether oh. Everton has exceeded the upper threshold by any further amount regarding the interest capitalised in FY21, FY22 and FY23. Uh, we accept that this defers the resolution of part of this dispute. The Commission is acutely aware that there are many stakeholders, to, to name some, the PL Everton, the Everton fans and all others, blah, blah, blah. Um, Premier League clubs, the public, inter a load of stuff who want it to be done quickly. Uh, the standard directions will not therefore apply to the remaining issues. Basically, they seem to have not been able to conclude um, the, the treatments of interest, and therefore they've gone with a number which they're then going to decide later whether it was right or not. This is unsatisfactory in my view. What's going on here? This is unsatisfactory. What is going on? They have not concluded the charge effectively. But that won't happen until next season. It, no, so we it might get a wait. Number. It doesn't say that. It says it won't be done under the standard directions. That means it could happen quicker, or it could happen next season. Seems if if you're Everton, you make it next season. It ain't going to be this season. No, because no. because it, it's, no, it's not. It ain't going to be this season, no. is it? Because we already know that Never, Everton ever. can't get a points deduction in twenty four, twenty five for something. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Well, we we're Everton, gonna, if it's going to be another point, then. An Maybe extra points. Then Maybe. it'll be next season. Yeah. It won't be this season. It's done. It can't. It's done, I, I know it slightly, but it can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll have to read this properly, and that's perhaps what the Stefan guy's got to read Fair quickly. Play. Fair enough, then, Stefan. Um, I apologise. He, he doesn't seem to have put the detail in it. But, but it's you close. have still got pure mileage out of something that doesn't concern you. So there you go. Um, so anyone who's interested, clauses 19 and 20. So how come City then are just left? How come Chelsea, who've admitted it, are just left? I know, but everyone's just going. I uh, don't know. Don't know how. How? How? Is this is this the case that you can just go on well, deal with us at a different time? Will you? Yeah, all right then, we will. It is mad, isn't it? The whole thing just doesn't seem real. There's a claim here that the Premier League are effectively saying that Everton breached the upper limit by between 11 and 60, 17 million more than we've just been punished for. How? Because we've restated the accounts, I guess. and they, Which they, we were told to, which we were supposed to do. Uh, it's illegal. It, it, sorry, it is a legal change that we have made. Not it's illegal. No, no. A, yeah. a it's a legal, legal yeah. change. Um, and they, have, they had a... Basically, this is just makes it even messier than it was. Yeah. Um, but fortunately, we have Sam Cuthbert on on Wednesday, our in-house barrister, mm. and I'm sure he'll find this very interesting. And hopefully, you will as well, you people out there when we record it. I just don't understand it, mate. I don't. I don't understand. I'm gonna have to get home, print the thing off, and read it through. Yeah. I just think it's. <laughs> I just think it's utter nonsense. It's just going on and on and on and on. There's no end to it. It's messy. It's not straight. It, these kind of things should be really straightforward. Yeah, they should. It should be. You, it's The reason these things are in place should be, according to their own rules, to stop you going out of business. Mm. And yet, all they are doing is to punish you and to stop anyone yeah. making any inroads into the mm. their super six clubs that they yeah. love. Yeah. That's all it's doing. Mark Woods is right, someone wants us down. And that's how it feels now. Yeah, Everton claim we breached by 16.6. The Premier League claim we breached by 23.2. And that's what... So there's a £7 million pound difference. Yeah, that's in clause 14. Point. Well, and that's because of the... In you well, it what? says quite clearly, um, oh, yeah, well. um, Everton objected to PL's reservation of the rights generally in relation to the capitalisation of interest. So it seems like we've got capitalisation of FY23, OK, I... but 21 and 22, which is a retrospective, they're going to argue about, I suppose, yeah. OK, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm, I have no clue what that means, so I yeah. apologise that I can't. 
make a comment on. I have no idea what it means. Yeah, the, this needs reading through properly, I think. It's just mad. The whole thing is mad. I don't think anybody would deny that Everton have been run shambolically. And those people are a disgrace who were in charge of our football club. They're an absolute disgrace. And have walked away with millions of pounds. Mm. And they're out the way, in hiding, spending their money. While we have to live with the consequences of that. Um, I think Everton, Evertonians are just being messed with by the Premier League though. Yeah. This is the thing. It's absolutely unacceptable that, I mean, yeah. you know, like I said, if they'd have come out today and said, right, it's two points or three points, whatever, right? And I think, I think if they're arguing, yeah, then we'd get probably one more point on top if they're not happy with six million pound mm. figure because they couldn't possibly give you any more than that. That should have been next season. In my opinion, well, if you've got to keep points deductions, Everton should begin the season minus three for next season. There shouldn't be any world where Everton have been hit for two different years with points accumulatively. Well, what did, yeah, well, That's me. The no, mess, no, the put and strain on every Evertonian. It's, well, it just shows you that they, they, there's so much here that's opinion-based, right? Mm. Uh, and, and clearly there was an issue here. So what the judges decided to do is split it into two fundamentally make a decision around the, the, the upper limit losses that Everton admitted mm -hmm. to, which is the 16.6. But the other stuff where there's dispute from the Premier League, they're going to do under separate proceedings. Yeah. Um, because I think what they've concluded here is they really needed to get this one sorted. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, what's interesting... They haven't had enough time. Eh? They haven't had enough time. Well, that's the point, because clearly um, the Premier League have made some... Um, suggestion i guess right and everton have agreed to it mm. and i think behind the scenes and we won't know will we had this debate continued you could we could have really been well into the summer couldn't we before we know what a result is so maybe everton are thinking well we can win this battle anyway but if we lose it mm. that one or two extra points we might get will be next season or the season after if we're not in this division i suppose or whenever we're next in the premier league which yeah. hopefully is well, if it's next August. year, then so yeah. be it. But we need to know before we kick off. You can't oh, be yeah. going halfway through or yeah, taking another point off you or but whatever. It's a bit perverse because... Um, <sighs> well, I, well, I'm going to, if well, you've got an accounting practice, which auditors and the whole host have all accepted, you can retrospectively account differently for the same numbers. Forget, I love, about, yeah. forget about other clubs. If our club. What about other clubs? I, what are other clubs going to think of that? Oh, Luton, if, for example, who right on the cusp yeah. thinking... What does this mean? If I'm another club, I'm thinking, hang on, you should have dealt with this now. Yeah. That what was the point of the commission? Too hard and difficult by that, the looks of it. Once yeah. again, that is pathetic from the Premier League. Mm. Forget about us. Mm. Take our blue. Yeah, forget about Everton. Yeah. It's unsatisfactory you know, look at all for everybody. And think, um, what are they going to think about this? Everton could have been done again and they've chose to they've chose to move it on to, to next season. Now that is that again is just why? Because you've rushed you've rushed this through so it'll get done before the end of the season so that you don't get your dreaded thing, which is you, we won't find out till the Thursday after the season or something. It's absolute nonsense. The whole thing paints a picture of a organisation which is just hasn't got a clue what it's doing. And, and, and this is the smoking gun, this, for me. Forget, yeah, it's great. Might be good, a good thing for us because it mightn't come till next season. But yeah, that is, that really. is a, well, that's a farce. That's an utter farce. Oh, lads, we haven't got time this week. Um, we've only booked a room for three days. Mm, that's terrible for the other clubs as well, yeah. Crazy. Uh, Paul M says, this channel's been whinging for ages about being stuck in... Whinging, really? We don't do whinging. Stuck in limbo. Why prolong it by appealing? Let's accept it and move because on. Because it's right. But they're appealing, mate, so there you go. Uh, whinging. Jay says, uh, as a Forest fan, I don't expect Outback. Just glad it's done. Get it out the way. Get the season over. Yeah, mate, it's going to end with... Usually keep your four points minus four. Everton will keep the minus two. But it is mad. Um, 
Leicester will be receiving a points deduction as well, of course. Um, but yeah, up the toffees, Forrest will get two back and we won't get it. Why will Forrest get two? It's interesting in, in can, the 19, if people are reading it, is this judge refers to this decision, these proceedings, and it talks about in accordance with the, and in brackets, severely restricted process and timetable that is set forth in the standard directions. In other words, you know that fast path timetable? Mm. They basically said, stick into that, we couldn't get the job done. Mm. Yeah, that's... So we've kicked the can down the road. Oh, which is the... which potentially is great for us. No argument with that. Um, well, Everton wouldn't have agreed to it, would they, unless we thought it was good no, for but us. What's yeah. The... Yeah, but the whole thing is, like you've just said, for everybody else, that's not acceptable either, though. No, it's not. If there's a real thing where there's going to be one more point, then take the point, then. But just make a judgment with the extra point if that's the answer suspended. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the you and know. And deal with it all under appeal. Yeah. They just all the demons causing more kind of confusion oh. for everybody, aren't they? And they're putting more of a spotlight on their inadequacies as an organisation. Really, I, just, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's mad. Be, have some conviction in your in your judgment then. Do you know what I mean? But again, like someone said before, 10, 6, 4, 2. Mm. So what Leicester are just gonna get none. Because mm. that's the they're the next one. That doesn't none of it make sense. David Swig says no sport and advantage it makes no sense. They do say there's a sport and advantage, though. You were allowed to buy Mars bars and oranges for half time. The ergo, a sport and advantage. But Chelsea can spend 1.1 billion on players. No sport and advantage there. But will they still be an investigator, though, Baz? Soon it'll be the first anniversary of UEFA fining them for the same case. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and someone's right. Phil's right, really. It's eight points we've been deducted, not two. Forget about the hearings. Mm -hmm. Everton yeah. have had eight points taken off them yeah. this season. Yeah, yeah. We should be, all of us should be sat here now, chilled, uh, without a threat of relegation. Yeah. Really. And we're not. Everybody, every Evertonian is up in that. Well, maybe maybe not Paul, didn't seem up in arms, but every, every other Evertonian, I imagine, is up in arms over this and feeling, you know, desperately, like, you know, under attack because that's how it feels. We just want to go and watch our team. Premier League have took the points off anyway, so there you go on their league table. There you go. Uh, it's synergy on a super chat. Nice one, mate. Says for other clubs and us, the fairest way is any points deduction starts the following season, and the chance to appeal has to be done and concluded when the season is over. Then everyone knows where they are. It's exactly correct. Totally. It's exactly correct. All of this thing is just nonsense. It's absolutely nonsense. Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to, you know, take the points off halfway through a season. Then we're going to suspend or we're going to give you the chance to appeal and you still don't know where you are. And this latest one, and now what we're doing is we're going to put a little line in it that says, oh, at some stage, we're probably going to have a look at this as well. And you might have another hearing for this. And that might be an extra point taken. What? what, what like, what? what does that even mean? It's just pathetic. It should be. Books in by this date, the Premier League, X, Y, or Z have breached, and the hearing will be the summer. And if they are found guilty, they will lose points at the start of for the start of next season. And that should be it. End the story. You shouldn't be losing points. Should be a transfer ban, in my opinion. But that's what it should be. Mm. But I've said this for months, and it, it's nothing's going to change. And apart it, from oh, yeah, it is going to change because the rules are going to change. The restated accounts, which we've relied upon, right? Mm. means our breach was smaller last time as well. And we've taken that on the chin. With the new accounts? Well, we've restated Yeah, yeah, yeah. Previous so it would have been smaller, yeah. So, so it would have been smaller. So you know, back to that, what we said months upon, well, a year ago, whenever it bloody was, yeah. Pandora's box is open and everyone's having a field day, aren't they? Oh, that's crazy, isn't it? You know. Again, we've got another judge saying, we hear what you say, but we think this. Yeah, mad. Anyway, I'll print it off and read it. Lads, it'll be really exciting later. Yeah. 
crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Uh, right, just a couple more before we go and get our heads together. Um, Jake says, find it hilarious that Farad Mashiri, one of the biggest clown owners in football, is known as an accountant. Um, it's a kangaroo court, says Jason. It's a blatant direct attack on Everton and our supporters as a whole. It's bullying at a totally new level. Uh, Matt says this all seems like they're punishing Usmanov by devaluing his asset through relegation. They don't care about the effect on Evertonians. It's a pre-planned sanction. Stan says, all right, lads, we don't understand it because they don't effing understand it. It's pathetic. I'll take relegation from this corrupter's league. I hate it. Mm. Bob says appeal. It's that simple. Well, they are appealing, Bob. They are appealing. Um Everton's job is quite simple now. Go and win football matches. Three wins will keep us safe. Um, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, and Daniel says, do we know why Premier League are so adamant to take points off clubs? No, because they didn't think they ever had to, would they? I mean, if they could, you know, if they could replay the last year, as far as PSL is concerned, they changed the rules before all this kicked off, wouldn't they? Yeah. Because they, they've got so much crap about all this, it's not true. Jay says, the first 10 points were given the day my missus was diagnosed with breast cancer. The news of the six points was my birthday, and today is our anniversary. Good times. And LJ, listen, I hope your missus is okay and for doing all right, mate. Asked for a suspended points deduction, and it, apparently that was rejected as being unfair on other clubs. Why? Why even put it in any kind of thing? Saying yeah. that's what can well, be that's done because that was a different judge, and this judge says it's unfair. So this judge has gone the same way as the first judge, which is asked to be an immediate points deduction. And within the regime that they have, they should have stuck to that. And I don't know why the Nottingham Forest guy introduced the idea that it could be suspended. <laughs> yeah. Um, they accepted the um, um, the loss of sponsorship revenue as being not fair, real fair mitigation. Yeah. John says, "Whatever happened to Boy or Blue, the Sultan of Brunei?" Remember him? He was going to take <laughs> Everton over loads of times, wasn't He's he? He's too busy buying Rolls Royces. God, yeah. we need them now. Um, Hash King eighteen eighteen seventy eight says. Basil, John, oh, what such thing? I'm going to say, like, can you please explain to me how Forrest get four points for an 80 million breach? Did Everton get <coughs> 12 all in all before appeals for a 19 and 16? Forrest was 34.5 there, breach, mate. Um, please, and your sums are not quite right because if you talk about before, sense. if you talk about pre appeal and, mm. and what have you, um, the two ICs have said that our um, naughtiness attracted 15 point deductions and we've managed to argue it down once through appeal and once through mitigation to be what we've ended up with which is eight mm. so we've managed to halve it haven't we but the first one was just so out of kilter and yet the first one is still referenced in this yeah mm. um so putting the hanging judge on first david phillips has uh, set the scene for everything Paul Quinn says, Liverpool fan here, it's a disgrace. We can still escape the bottom three, all the best. Cheers, Paul. Uh, yeah, we've just got to, we've got to go and win some games of footy. I think it's as simple as that. Um, see what happens. Right, we're going to go. We'll be doing... Oh, I'm going to no, mark on the super chat. Obviously going to read this one. Says it's six clubs thwarted payment your money and when we've never been more vulnerable. This is a new way to sink any competitors to cash. It's strategic 100%. Mm. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, it could be, it could be. Uh, Buzzkiller says, saw someone say there's another one coming, another points deduction coming as well. No, there's another... Um commission there might be another commission no there will be there will be another commission there's another commission it won't be coming this season so we might get points deducted next season yay isn't it brilliant isn't it brilliant what absolute joke 
Absolute joke. Right, we'll be on more than a game a quarter to three. Come and we'll be chatting about that as well over there. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later. See you later, guys.